Wednesday. It is like 10 in the morning. I'm getting a pretty late start to the morning, but that's okay. Sometimes it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Today is hair wash day, which is my least favorite day of the week, but it's okay because it has to get done. I hate washing my hair. I love the way I feel after my hair is washed. That's always how it goes. So I haven't washed my hair in like a week. If you guys are new here, I do only wash my hair once a week. I used to have like super processed bleached hair and that was mostly the reason why I only washed it once a week was because I was so blonde and it was really better for my hair the less I washed it. Now the dye and the bleach has like since grown out pretty much all the way but I still only wash it like once a week. I shower every day but I wash my hair only once a week just because it's really good for your hair. It really helps your hair to grow quicker. My hair grows like a weed because I only wash it once a week. I use a lot of dry shampoo. I use a lot of different products and today I want to share with you guys some new things and some old things. Basically just everything that I have been using on my hair recently. Products, tools, everything. I don't know yet how I want to style my hair but today we're just going to go through my new hair care routine and I'm just going to show you guys some really good products that I know are good. I honestly have been through my fair share of hair products just because my hair like I said is very damaged at the ends because it's been bleached so these are things that I know are gonna work for pretty much everybody people with sensitive skin people with damaged hair people with fine hair so that is the plan for today I'm gonna eat some breakfast before I do anything else welcome to the vlog I hate washing my hair, but I swear my mood, I can feel my mood lifting after I wash it. Like I feel like a new person. It's just, it's such a drag and I have so much hair. Like you guys can't even see that it's such a pain in the ass to wash, but I did it. And I will say I used a new shampoo and conditioner today. Like I used one that I've never used before. And I've tried my fair share of shampoos and conditioners. I tried the Briogeo one and I hated it. Of course now I'm not gonna be able to remember all the ones that I've tried, but I have tried my fair share of like high-end ones. And I've always used the Pravana. I always go back to that one, the purple shampoo, just because before my hair used to be like bleached. Like this, sh this color down here used to be my entire head until it grew out. <laughs> Look how much it's grown out. Pretty much non-existent anymore. I used to only use the Pravana. Like that was the one I would go back to, shampoo and conditioner. But recently I've been like branching out since my hair isn't as processed as it used to be and trying new shampoos and conditioner. And I used the Oribe, 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 I don't know how to say it. Gold Lust to like restore and protect, I think is what it's called. Shampoo and conditioner. And my hair, whenever I get out of the shower, like whenever I wash it, usually it is so naughty like it's so hard to get a comb through it but today it was like butter it, i came out of the shower and it was like there were no knots in it fingers crossed that this is gonna be you know worth it it's hard to tell right now because i just got out of the shower i'll like know in a week after it wears because i find that with shampoos and conditioners like that that make my hair feel like silky by like the fourth day they feel so dirty so dirty like they've left a coating on my hair that just is unmanageable so i have to see how this holds up you know how the shampoo and conditioner holds up but so far so good i have new products that i want to put in my hair post shower so the first one i'm going to use is this jvn complete blowout styling milk i've used this once before like when i first got it i tried it and i just i couldn't get like a good reading on it because so much had gone wrong that day <laughs> and i didn't know what to pinpoint it on so i'm going to try this again and then i also got this verb ghost oil i've heard so many good things about this this again i have used before it's really good it's really lightweight if you have fine hair you would love this. I'm gonna take the JVN first. And it says, apply one to two pumps in hands and rub together, disperse evenly all over damp hair and blow dry with a round brush. It's silicone free, sulfate free, color safe, vegan. It protects against like thermal, it's like a heat protectant on top of like having blowout capabilities, like to keep your hair, I guess, silky and shiny and like hold the blowout. I don't know, we're gonna try it out for the second time. I'm only gonna use one pump per side. And I'm gonna start at my ends. And kind of work 
my way up. It smells amazing. It smells so good. I feel like I'm like in a salon. I'm gonna put one more pump on the other side now. I hope I put enough in. I'm gonna let my hair dry a little bit before I blow it out just because I heard somewhere that that's what you're supposed to do. If you're going in with like a styling tool like that Revlon blow dry brush, or whatever the heck it's called. You don't want to use it on sopping wet hair. And I do want to use my new tool that I got, which is the Shark. I forget what it's called. It's the, the, the Dyson dupe. I tried using the curling attachments on my hair last week and it totally didn't work at all. I think I have to play with the settings a little more, but I'm going to wait for the, my hair to dry a little bit more before I get in with that so that I'm not like severely damaging my hair. All right, I moved you guys just because my mirror's over here and I need to see... What I'm doing. <laughs> this is the attachment I used the first time I used this. It's the Shark Flex Style. I went and checked the box because I literally forgot what it was called. This was the attachment that I used before and it worked pretty well. It has like these, these bristles, the black ones, so it like smooths your hair way more than like the Revlon one or really any other one that I've seen. But I want to try to use the one that curls your hair, like the Dyson Airwrap. You just hit like the unlock. Yeah, and it pops right off. And there's all these attachments that you can put onto it. I wonder if my hair is just too long. I think that like might be part of the problem. The first hardest task is definitely trying to figure out which one to use for each side. You have to like envision yourself curling your hair <laughs> and like which way the curls are gonna go. I'm just gonna section my hair first. See, under here is still so wet though. The ends of my hair feel like, like hay. I don't know what's doing that. I'm hoping it's not like the JVN stuff, but they feel like hay. I think there's like a lot of mousse in that product, the JVN one. Oh my God. So I think that's why this makes my hair feel a little more coarse than it actually is. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, that one is 10 times better. Look at that freaking curl. I think I got the hang of it now. It's just scary because this down here is where the air comes in. So it's like, it's been sucking the other parts of my hair into this. So that part's a little bit scary. But other than that, I think I can make this work. I'm gonna go do the rest of my head and I'll be back when I get to like the last few pieces and we can reevaluate and come back. <laughs> I'm gonna move you guys so you can get the full the full feel for this hair that I have right now. On camera, the hair looks great, but in real life, I don't know. I think that the blow dryer gave me a good blowout, but I don't, I don't think that it curled my hair. Like, do you guys see? Like that is a straight piece of hair. I'm gonna put some oil in cause it feels dead. Like it feels like, like I just put fire to it. I'm gonna use the verb one that I mentioned before. Like it looks, it looks good. It's definitely like blowout and not curled. You know what I mean? And I think that JVN stuff definitely helped give me a voluminous lift. Cause my hair looks like three times bigger than it actually is. I don't know, I think I have to play with that blow dryer more. I, I feel like it's not meant for wet hair. I feel like it's made for already dried hair. The hair at like the top up here, by the time I got to it, it was pretty much dry. And that's the section that looks the best. So I have a feeling that it's just for dry hair. So maybe I'll try it again tomorrow when I have like day old hair. Looks great in camera, but I have a feeling I'll wake up tomorrow and it'll be completely flat. <laughs> All right, so it's been a few days now and my hair, as you can see, has fallen, but it still looks really good. And I just wanted to show you guys like how everything wears as time goes by, but my hair still looks great. And I do stand by what I said, which is that the Shark, those attachments for the Flex Pro, I think it's what it's called, but the attachments, every other attachment besides the, I keep, want, I keep wanting to say condenser, but the one that actually looks like a blow drying nozzle. I'm convinced that is the only one that should be used for wet hair. I think every other head on top of that shark that can be interchanged should be used on like almost 90% dry to like completely dry hair. Like I went in and I curled these pieces and look how much, I mean, they look great. It worked better on, on my dry hair. So just a little tidbit of information. Take with that what you want. I think it's a very good all-in-one. I think I could get rid of everything in my hair tools drawer and just have that and be totally fine. 
I don't think I need a curler. I don't think I need a straightener. I don't think I need a blow dryer anymore. I think that product is the one and done. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely pick it up. I also just wanted to mention to you guys some things that I use throughout the week for my hair. I use a lot of dry shampoo. I always use the Batiste one. I just ran out of it though but i'll have a little picture of the like specific scent that i use because i always use the same scent but i do think i want to try the amica one or the verb one i want to try some some new dry shampoos that one is really good but it makes my hair feel really coarse <laughs> so I, I definitely want to try out a few other ones but i use dry shampoo all the time do not sleep on dry shampoo use it because that's how i go week to week without washing my hair but that is about it for this little mini vlog hair care routine tutorial video <laughs> i hope that you guys all enjoyed let me know down below if you did and i will see you all in my next one bye <laughs>